What is going on y'all? Travis here back with the next episode of Criminal Minds Season 3 Episode 4. Let us get into it, shall we? Yeah, a bone spur. A bone know, spur. It's ridiculous. And Tom wants to have another baby. Did I mention this? I'm I'm 38 years old. About to die. And I've run away bones growing out of my feet. You're about to die. You're guessing again. You're at the beginning, you're gonna die. Know. Hopefully because not the not kid. Focusing. Fifteen. Mm-mm. -mm. Damn it. Ah. Hey. Mom says it all the time. Mom is a grown-up. Now that I have two boys, it just seems... Oh, damn it. Now I just spilled some wine. I got my whole life ahead of me, right? Lynn? Hello? Your whole life, huh? It's probably Carol returning the dish from the potluck. You focus. It just ran out in front of the car. Is it yours? Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, we don't have a cat. Could it maybe be one of your neighbors? He's familiar. I don't. Who is I, he? I, I guess it's possible. Is he dead? Go in the other room. Well, it looks like there's a tag. Oh, don't touch it. The number. Do you think uh, maybe I could use your telephone? No. It's not working. Die. Maybe the batteries? You can use my cell. Hey, those are some pretty nice clubs. You must be a good player. Yeah, they're nice clubs, but my game is a wreck. Weird, there's no signal. You got a bag? Jammed. A bag? Like she said, it might have a disease. Oh, yeah, sure, just a second. You want to step in? Oh, yeah, thank you. We'll see why we have to get him a bag. Do we have to argue about this? Excuse me for not wanting a dead animal brought into my house. That's fair. Sorry, my friend is a little shook up. He was driving when... Yeah, sure. Whoa, little guy's a load. Maybe double bag it. Uh, we were just getting ready to eat. That's nice. Come home from playing golf, have a nice meal. You're a lucky guy. Uh, so if you guys don't mind... Well, what are we supposed to do with the cat? Who the fuck I cares? I don't know. Take it no to offense. a vet, I guess. It's dead. Then bury it. Hey, what kind of clubs are these, anyway? I don't want any trouble. We'll call the police. How are you going to do that? You could yell, I guess. You have to be real loud, though. Unless you guys get Don't touch me, bitch! You think you're... Dad! What? Get in your room! No, boys. <sighs> Stay. The Halbert family. They were murdered in their home last night. The third home invasion like this in the last month. The, the kids, everyone. too? Parents, kids, pets, if they have them. What do they take? Nothing they can't fit in their pockets. And hundreds of ways to get cash and jewels without killing entire families. National statistics show an uptick in home invasions over the last few years. 18% in Colorado. Oh, it's bad if they're inviting us back. Back? Well, things went bad after the John Benet Ramsey case. And that was in Boulder. Yeah, but the statewide media ran with it. And... Well, I talked to a Lieutenant Nellis. They want our help. They need it. The first two invasions were 20 days apart. This last one was just nine days later. Bro, why do they gotta do the kids like that? I don't like that shit. In the city, crime is taken as emblematic of class and race. In the suburbs, though, it's intimate and psychological, resistant to generalization, a mystery of the individual soul. Barbara Ehrenreich. Barbara who? Who that? Families are being targeted suggest multiple unsubs. Could mean gang related. You I don't think any of these victims are running in John me. Circles. Sewing circles, more like it. These guys are killing the cleavers. Strange. Uh, of all the names for a 1950s idyllic TV family, I mean, it's rife with violent implication. What about um, class-based uprising? Helter Skelter. There's no graffiti. Apparent murders are brutal. The instruments vary, uh, golf club, kitchen knife, iron. Symbols of family. But the kids were different. They died by injection. So the invasions are well planned. Phone lines are cut. Ligature marks show the parents were bound and gagged. The men found their true calling. No sign of forced entry. Wow, they like Same spoons, as the other two houses, huh? right? Yeah. So it's late and the doorbell rings. I come over. And I flip the switch. Huh. They made it dark. No one sees anything if they're walking by. But I can still see through the people. If you look like trouble, I might not let you in. But if you look non-threatening, maybe I open up. So the occupants either knew them or they lied their way in. It was just about eliminating witnesses. It would never have been so vicious. You think they know the family? It's possible. And then there's the kids, tucked in, quiet, orderly, controlled. With some capacity for remorse. Two profiles. Two unsubs. Have these chairs been moved? No, it's all how we found it. Been positioned to face the area where the parents were killed. Everything's been cleared out like a stage. It's entertainment. They sit and watch the parents die. I came by about nine to return the Pyrex. No one answered when I rang the bell, but lights were on inside. Did you happen to look in the window? I had my cell phone. I was going to call. I couldn't get a signal, which was strange. Why was that strange? There's a tower on the next block. I, I left the dish. This morning, it was still here. So I came over. That's when I looked inside. Called the police on your cell. Could you imagine yeah. finding that? 
He's seen got a that confidence in your neighbor's the fucking window. A high risk endeavor. I will poop. The house, no one can call out. I right there. Right there. Oh, you can in buy the front lawn. camera online for what? Hundred bucks. Actually, I don't know what the fuck I'd do. I'd probably be so shocked. Like, hey, girl, you're on speaker. Behave. Or what? You'll spank me? Oh, me next. I found four with similar elements. Small valuables only. Occupants tied up. Oh, Good time hey, thanks, doll face. I'll call you back. Well, if this is our guy, something made them graduate to murder. Might tell us how they choose their victims. I've been looking into victimology, and so far, there's really nothing to connect the families. Different political affiliations, different careers. And at this point, it simply appears the unsubs are targeting their victims at random. A reunion is a future. It doesn't mean nothing. It's a gimmick. Is that Weevil from... Veronica Mars? Kind of looks like him, doesn't it? Maybe. Maybe not. Hey, it's your turn. See anything you like? That's him. We just don't think it's a good idea. Maybe it's not. I mean, you haven't even thought about it. It's a whole group of us, Dad. Oh. Look, I've earned some capital here. Who are you, George Bush? <laughs> don't laugh at me. Well, that's not fair, Carrie. You know, just because you two are losers in high school doesn't give you the right to take it out on me. Rude. How long do us? A lavar mis manos. You ever think about going home? Visit the folks? Might be time. I, I don't want to ever go back there. Not ever. I'm bored. Pick somebody or I'm taking your turn. just ran out in front of my car. Is it yours? Oh no, you guys are all gonna die. Damn. And you guys fought on your last meal. She got out. What about the brother? What happened to you? He killed us. Call 911. We're looking for two men, uh, probably white, mid to late 20s. These are career criminals. One or both has done hard time, but neither presents as a convict. They would appear clean shaven, well dressed. They may also be using a ruse. Could be anything. Could be door to door sales, person in distress. These men share a very tight bond. Psychos. And a mutual compulsion to kill. One brutalizes the parents. This is the dominant one. The other prefers the needle. His injections are consistent with an angel of death. He has a warped sense of mercy. And he let, it's, it's he long, let the girl get away? There's been another one, and they're sending an ambulance. There's a survivor? She's lucky to be alive. The injection went into the soft tissue of the arm. Missed the vein. This guy doesn't miss. Is she conscious? She's in and out. Keep in mind, she's suffering the effects of an acute barbiturate overdose. Given what's happened, that's probably best. You can inform the next of kin in LA, but don't want the media to know there's a survivor. Kid's in his room down the hall. How old? Seven. You all right? At least they left the flowers alive, right? Looks like the body's removed post-mortem. The daughter had blood on her when they found her? You answer your door, and the next thing you know, everyone you care about is gone. If it was me, I'd want to be gone, too. Hell yeah. Me too. I went to get a bag. When I got back, there were two of them. What did the other one look like? Heavier. Hispanic. Quiet. He never looked straight ahead. What do you mean? Like, a few times I felt him staring at me. When I looked up, he always looked away. Avoiding eye contact? And my dad came in from the study, and they jumped him. They made Danny call for my mom. And they tied them up. And then one of them went over, got the thing from the fireplace. He started hitting them with it. They made us watch. So we can take a break. No. Then. You need this, right? After a while, the quiet one took Danny away. And the other one just started going through drawers looking for stuff. And I ran. Danny, we gotta go. Better this way. <gasps> what did you do to him? Lucy, listen. My name's not Lucy, you freak. Damn me. I don't know what you're trying so to Lucy's say. Lucy's his sister or something. Quiet. You're gonna make my brother mad. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Who the fuck, Lucy? Hey, Hodge. They only take things with monetary value, Lucy. right? Jewelry, cash, no souvenirs. One of them just broke pattern. Why? Reminds him of his family or something? He's obsessed with her? The fucking creeper? This says these unsubs are using cats. We should find out where they might be getting them. They could work someplace where they had access to animals. Research labs, veterinary hospitals. Carrie said that they referred to each other as brothers. Yeah, but these two are of different races. And Carrie said the Hispanic one did not speak Spanish. Maybe they're half brothers. What if they're adopted? Could be a reflection of their own broken home. If we release news of her survival, it might draw them out. Not comfortable with that? I would be more comfortable if we doubled her security. Shh. Oh, he's a vet. You'll we'll probably think some nice family to take you away from all this, but that's a lie. They would have hurt you. Ew. You're one of the lucky ones, okay? Hey, Irvin. You got a visitor. What did you do? 
Well, what did I do? I didn't do anything. That girl, she survived. It's all over the news. She did? And she's probably telling him everything right now. I thought it was a good shot. And I... this has nothing to do with your little crush. Is that him? It's not a crush. It... Can't decide. This is a sign, gang. I, I mean, need help. I'm making good money. Yeah. Screw the money. The kids, they... the kids are better off. You According know that. According to who? Go get a fucking job. What we got? We're family. We're family. Great. Thank you. Hey, so Carrie's been cleared to go. Wish she had somewhere to go. But no luck with the L.A. thing? Let this girl catch a break? It just ran into the road. Is it yours? She's screaming. Ah! Carrie, 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 wake up, wake up, wake up. It's okay. It was daddy. <laughs> okay, it's just a dream. I'm okay. We, uh, we, we brought you a change of clothes. I didn't know what to grab you, so I just got three of everything. In the house? It looks like a flower shop in here. Yeah, they all started um, coming in after the news broadcast. The exact same floral arrangement was in the Ortiz living room. Oh, shit. Dender was in the house, associated it with her. It's a blank card from the floral shop. Get Garcia to track the delivery, and Reed's got something for us when you're done. Hey, Garcia, it's Em. How do we catch these guys? Uh, backtrace a flower delivery for me. This is the Laybourne house. Did you find a trigger? Not until I looked at the daughter's autopsy reports. She was beaten. But not by our unsubs. Coroner noted those bruises were several days old. She'd been to the emergency room three times in less than two years. So the Laybournes were abusing their daughter? Oh. One of the unsubs decimates parental figures. It's likely he was abused himself. The unsub recognized the signs of abuse, flew into a rage and killed the parents. And he's getting revenge for his oh. own childhood abuse. So you think the victims were beating their kids? Yeah. Well, that doesn't explain the kids. Think of the family annihilator. John List and uh, Mark Barton. They thought they were saving their kids by killing them. But what is he saving them from? Life without their parents, without love, life like his. What if they both grew up in a third party household? Foster, Foster Brothers. Can to eye contact? Foster, Foster Brothers. I think we may have found our girl's secret admirer. Paid for by phone with a credit card under the name Robert Serrano. They were getting beat by their foster parents. <laughs> Detective, well, flowers weren't the only thing they bought on that stolen credit card. See if you can pull the security camera footage. ID that car. Security chain's been broken. They couldn't lie their way in this time. The media blew their M.O. Talk to me, Garcia. Felons in the Denver area. What'd you get? The phone book. Foster system's a bit of a breeding ground. Try crossing it. With offenders having workplace access to small animals and or pentobarbital. Ooh. Matching all three criteria. Sending them now. Now we're close. Cameras at that gas station grabbed the visual of the car, Oldsmobile, mid-80s. Anything on the driver? It's fuzzy. Well, then I guess it's gonna be up to her. Oh, shit. This one. Are you sure? have to think about it. Okay, that's a uh, Irvin Robles. Employed by the Denver City Pound. Let's go. Your parents would be really proud of you. It's too late to be a good daughter now. Oh, that's not true. I was horrible to them. And now they're gone. Why did they do it? Oh, you'll drive yourself crazy trying to figure out the reason. I go crazy every time I close my eyes. It may have something to do with what happened to them when they were younger. Like what, they're abused or something? There's a good chance. Are there any happy families? I mean... Thank you. I'm Agent Hotchner with the FBI. We're looking for Irvin Robles. Irvin's off till the weekend. You might want to try his apartment. It's abandoned. Where do you send his checks? He picks them up. What's this about? Who can we talk to that actually knows him? Well, nobody really. Real quiet, efficient though. Well, actual title's animal care technician, but really he's kind of the on-site Kevorkian. We need you to call him. Supervisor left a message for Irvin to come in right away. He also said a man stopped by yesterday got um, into a heated argument with Irvin. Kevorkian. Description sounded a lot like the one Carrie gave. Imagine they they that being you your fucking job. There's only one person that can tell us that. The foster mom. That's oh, all you do? God, Irvin, he had behavior problems. They all do. But... And he hasn't been acting alone, Mrs. Manwaring. He's, he's got a partner. Perhaps someone else who grew up in your care. Tyler, the adults are talking here. The... I just want some milk. My mom used to lock the fridge. fridge. You know the rules. Is that abuse? I don't think it is. They'll each have a house and home if you let them. Is there anyone Irvin was especially close to? My mom someone legit did. Because me and my sister would eat everything. But I wasn't, I was fat. So we tried with him. He tested us. Gary left the day he turned 18, never looked back. Urban was a mess when he got here. Been separated from a younger sister. Where did she go? Nobody told me. Siblings get separated all the time. They find new ones here. My yeah, they look so happy. What was the name of his sister? He used to call her name out in the middle Lucy? of the night. Wake the whole house up. Hell, what was that girl's name? Rosie? Lucy? Yes, Lucy. Lucy. That was it. Yeah, just leaving. Irvin returned the call. He's on his way to work. Subject approaching on foot from North Valley. Urban Robles, right there. Get your ass down on the ground right now. Come on, Urban. I ain't getting uh, nowhere, buddy. Ah. Let's go. Uh, 
You're not helping yourself if you don't talk to me. I want to talk to you. I'll go in that room and talk to you for hours. I'll go in that room and just want to you want another look crackdown? at you. No, we can't keep going around like this. Give you we time. need him to find Gary. It's, it's not like we're going to earn his trust. Their whole MO is predicated on the union of their two personalities. And there's no telling what Gary could do. So he won't talk to us. But maybe he'll talk to family. But he'll be in uh, handcuffs. And I will be in there with you. Okay. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. I do. Shh. Remember, we're interested in Gary. His next move. I will keep him on point about that. Just try your best to keep him engaged. Can we just stop and think about this for a minute? I, she'll be okay. She's a kid. Yeah. I, what is she trying to prove here? That she can be a good daughter. Hey, you're here. Did you get the, the flowers that I sent? Yeah. They would just say that, uh, that I'm sorry. For killing your whole family? Her whole family, fucker? Flowers aren't enough, Irvin. We need Gary. That won't make it up, though. Because they're going to send you away now. That's what they do with all the strays. They send them away. That's why I make them go to sleep so that they don't have to suffer. That's Even more people him. are going to suffer if we can't find Gary. So when you killed my brother, you're doing him a favor? And what about me? Let's just address one thing at a time. Because I just wanted to see you again. You looked so much like Lucy. I, just, I, know, I know it's selfish, but... Selfish? I... It's insane. What? Okay, Carrie, let's take a break. What happened to you that was so bad? She used to make it go dark. I mean, that, that, that's what we used to call it. She would put me in the bath to pray and then she'd hold my head down that lady that we saw sometimes i could stay awake the fridge locker hold her head underwater then fuck that lady then it would, it would all go dark they still got kids in that house let's call dss and see if we can get them out of there what is she doing they can't hurt you anymore i wanted to stop but gary he he went through it way way worse when we were kids that's sad he never got the chance to fight back so he fought those other families only because I wouldn't go back. Back? Gary's going to your foster home, isn't he? Oh. Uh, get him out I mean, should have started there. If she was doing shit like holding their heads underwater and shit, then sh fuck her. She could, She deserves it. Oh, you did so good. If she was just locking up the Coca-Colas in the fridge, then that's not a reason, but fucking try it. What is all this? We have reason to believe that Gary may be on his way here to hurt you. I don't understand. These movies are rehearsals of what he wants to do to you. I don't know what you're talking about. we don't about. have time to debate this. The fact is you and your husband are in danger. The only way we can protect you is if you go back inside. Hey, buddy. You don't remember me? He's familiar, too. House. This blonde guy. Ago, you just this fucking guy. guy. You're not supposed to talk to strangers. Not supposed to. She still wear the refrigerator key around her neck? I'm Gary. I'll give you guys a ride. Not supposed to go to the bathroom after bedtime. Like, you can't get up and go to the bathroom? Or you're not supposed to pee the bed. Because how you tell him not to do that? You gotta go, you gotta go, bro. Just not in the bed. Witnesses saw the kids getting into a late 80s Oldsmobile. I heard the PD set up a 20 mile perimeter. With Irvin out of the way, maybe Gary's trying to do his job. He makes them sleep. Read what? We got him. He's at a donut shop two miles from the school. Kids? We got a visual on Gary and the boy, but I don't see the girl. Oh, shit. Are you the police? Yeah. He told me to give this to you. You might have a problem, Hodge. What? He's got a bomb. Fall back. I don't want him feeling boxed in. I got sharpshooters lining up. Tell them to keep their safeties on. I want to talk to him first. Got the clerk. The guy sitting at the table with the little boy. I'd like to speak to him, please. You uh, got a call over here, man. You can grab your stuff. Don't kill this kid. Who's this? I'm the only thing standing between you and a bullet. We'll bring it. Always wanted to die in a donut shop. Huh. And never see Urban again. He told us what the man wearings did you in that house. It's history. They're the objects of your anger. Yeah, Gary, okay. It's history. There. It's too late for the boy. It's not Gary. And deep down, I think you know that he still has a chance. He doesn't have to be. Yeah, you. Gary, you're scary, Gary. Maybe. Maybe not. So what say we leave it up to him? What is it? What do you say? Tom, come here. Gary! Put your hands up where I can see him. Get down on your knees. Put your lace fingers behind your head. Even himself up pretty easily. Give me this hand. Give me this hand. Get on your feet. I don't know what you did, but nice work. Thanks. Yeah, I understand that. I'm just, I'm asking if there's some type of alternative for them. Nothing. I got it. Don't ask me to like it. What? What is it? Social services won't intervene until they do a full investigation. You have to take them home? Yeah. Hang on a second. I teach crisis negotiation, and in 12 years, I've never talked anybody off a ledge so fast. 
bit of a milestone then. Why'd you walk out that door, Gary? Sugar crash. He talked the boy into killing. He talked the boy into killing uh, them. Tyler, let me talk to you for a second. Kid, listen to me. Anything you ever need, any problem you might be having here at home, I want you to know you can call me anytime, Tyler. You understand? Anytime. So meet at 4.30 on the stairs, and you can direct all your questions to Lieutenant Nellis of the Denver PD. Perfectly normal. You're welcome. I didn't know anything was up until... Uh, that's when I saw the piece, and I handed him the phone. Excuse me, did you, did you say piece? Uh, yeah, Lord. He had it stuck in his pants. Did you clear a gun? No. Yeah, really. Hodge, the, the clerk said Gary had a gun. We didn't recover anything here. I saw Nellis turn him inside out. He had nothing on him. Probably here somewhere. A gun doesn't just walk away. Hodge? Yeah, Hutch. We just dropped them off. We're leaving. Why would we search the back? Tyler! Drop that gun! Are you hurt? No. What do you do with that? Come on, kid. Take it easy. Oh, They're lies. I know. But you could have come in here and you could have made her pay. And you didn't. Because you're good. You're not Gary. No. You're nothing like him. Look at me. I don't want to hurt you. Okay? Let's make a deal. You give me that gun, and I promise you, I will walk you out of here, and you will never have to come back. Sound pretty good? Yeah? Give me the gun. I got you. I got you. I could take her. Wow. Take her. Carrie, to DC. You mean to live with you? Yeah. Why would you want to do that? I have room, and, you know, she's smart. Two, three years, she goes to college. This is the job, and I need to know that you can be objective. And I need to know that I can be human. JJ heard from the family, and they're on their way from L.A. Oh. Okay, good. <laughs> that's... that's great. I mean, it, it was nice of her to offer the instead of letting the girl go to the damn system. Do you mind waking him up? I just... I just want to hear his voice. You okay? Yeah. They're good people. Carrie's family. Good. I'm glad. I think it's a good idea, though. What's that? You. Kids. I can see it. Yeah. She gonna have one? She gonna adopt? She gonna do something? She got her mans or what? Interesting. Interesting ending there. That episode ended up being really fucking good and completely different than what I thought it was going to be. I really enjoyed that, mainly because I'm a firm believer in like, I know some people have crappy, you know, situations and upbringings and all that kind of stuff, but I'm a firm believer in like, we all have free will and like, I know that some people are products of their environment, but it's what you do with it. Like, I think that some people are just good people and some people are like bad people and some and the bad people tend to blame their environment or whatever it is like that's the reason why they did it and then some people are better and then don't do that like that kid at the end he was better he didn't he didn't shoot he could have walked in and shot that lady shot that bitch right in the face and he didn't do it because he was better you know what i mean if he dealt with it for a few more years would he have been better i don't know he could have and he didn't that was pretty interesting that was that was an and, and it was like I don't know, it was like a, not, I don't want to say cool, but it was like an interesting reason why those guys were the way they were. I don't know, it was just, it was just a pretty cool episode, the way it was set up and the way it was, the way it worked out. So, I dug it. Looking forward to the next one. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. Bye!